This is Southern Dewberry, Rubus trivialis. Like everything in its genus, it usually has thorny stems, three or five leaflets, five petaled white flowers, and black berry-like fruits. It can be challenging to distinguish between different species in the Rubus genus, even for taxonomists, but everything in the genus has edible fruits. It includes blackberries, raspberries, dewberries, and thimbleberries. The Cahuila name for the blackberry plant was Piquilyam, the Comanche called it Pinatsaya. At least 18 species in the genus were known to be eaten by at least 28 different American Indian tribes. In places where they grow abundantly, they were a celebrated food resource. The Choctaw named the time of blackberry fruiting Hash Bisa, or Blackberry Month. Around 1530, Cabeza de Vaca saw Indians around the Texas Gulf Coast spend the whole month of April eating large quantities of southern dewberry, celebrating and dancing. Special trips were made by various tribes to gather blackberries in season where they grew abundantly. These tribes often ate the fruits fresh and sometimes dried them for storage. They could be ground into a paste before sun drying since they have so much water in them. And this is what you get after an hour of picking dewberries. I think this is berry juice. This is blood. All well, the thorns. No, they, they're annoying, but they're not, not too bad. Probably weighs a couple pounds here. They're much sweeter and more delicious than anything you can buy in a store. Rubus trivialis, dewberries, worth it. The Iroquois made a beverage from the crushed fruits, water, and maple syrup. The Coahuila made a beverage from soaking the half ripe fruits in water. The whole plant appears to be edible, and uh, certain species, the peeled shoots, were eaten and can make a tea from the young leaves. To preserve them, I add some sugar, lemon, or lime, mash them up, put them on to simmer for a while, and then can them. Note in this video, I'm not showing proper canning technique, just a quick sterilization. Now, the roots of at least eight different species were used by at least eight different tribes to treat diarrhea. They were made into a tea and drunk for the purpose. Given the commonality and potential deadliness of diarrhea, this is a great medicine to know for survival. The many tiny seeds inside are rich in omega-3 and 6, and the anthocyanin pigments are thought to be antioxidants. They were great in all sorts of things. I like to even put them on meat or barbecue, and of course, on top of some ice cream.